Welcome back to the channel. Today we're diving into Ubuntu versus Kubuntu. Ubuntu and Kubuntu both share the same foundation. Under the hood, they both draw from Ubuntu's repositories, but in daily use, they feel like entirely different operating systems. Ubuntu employs GNOME. You'll recognize its minimal layout, a centered overview with bright rounded icons, quick search, and a clean dock at the bottom. It's designed for simplicity and touch-friendly hardware, yet remains powerful for mouse and keyboard users. Kubuntu runs KDE Plasma. Imagine a Windows-style taskbar, start menu at the left, pinned and running apps in the middle, and a system tray with clock, volume, and notifications on the right. It feels familiar and offers deep customization from widget placement to color schemes. Beyond look and feel, default apps differ. Ubuntu ships with Nautilus, GNOME Terminal, and Music. Kubuntu includes Dolphin, Console, and Elisa. Both include LibreOffice and Firefox, so the essentials stay the same, but the workflows match each environment's toolkit. Because they share repositories, installing an app like Spectacle or GIMP on both yields identical versions, no surprises if you switch between them. Some users try to get Plasma on Ubuntu by installing the Kubuntu desktop package. You end up with both GNOME and KDE libraries, bloating storage and sometimes causing conflicts. Switching between Qt and GTK apps can feel inconsistent, and system updates may become unpredictable. Instead, back up your data and install Kubuntu directly. You'll get a streamlined Plasma environment that's built and tested as a cohesive whole. Customization is where Plasma shines. You can resize panels, add widgets, adjust hot corners, and switch themes, all with a few clicks. GNOME focuses on simplicity. Plasma empowers power users who want granular control. Performance-wise, GNOME may feel lighter out of the box, but modern hardware handles Plasma effortlessly. Both environments support features like fractional scaling, high DPI displays, and multi-monitor setups. The teams behind each distro also differ. Ubuntu is maintained by Canonical, a private company offering professional support and cloud services. Kubuntu is driven by the KDE community under the KDE EV nonprofit. Volunteers uh, worldwide collaborating on Plasma and KDE apps. Both groups collaborate closely. Canonical sponsors KDE and Kubuntu is an official Ubuntu flavor. Yet their missions shape development. Enterprise readiness versus community-driven innovation. At the end of the day, Ubuntu and Kubuntu share a base but deliver unique experiences. Try them in a browser emulator for a quick taste or create bootable USB drives for full trials. Experiment with both to find the desktop that aligns with your workflow. Download. Explore. Decide. Because when your desktop fits you, every click feels just right. Thanks for watching. Let us know in the comments which desktop won you over.